Hello everyone. Well, I've got another unusually shaped box to open today. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> I've no idea what the postman and courier drivers must think when they deliver yet another unusual box to my house. Anyway, it's clearly a vacuum cleaner, isn't it? Obviously a vacuum cleaner. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So, we have a handle of a vacuum cleaner. The seller said they were going to dismantle it for shipping, but didn't dismantle it enough. So this is an Electrolux light upright. Electrolux soft bag upright. Pretty hard to get hold of. The soft bag Electrolux upright cleaners. Soft bag Hoovers, easy to get hold of. But when it comes to bags on Electrolux, hard bags were the norm. Hard dust boxes around a disposable bag. Now, let's hope this hasn't broken. It's not that well packed. Carrier bags do not make for the best packaging. Crikey, who looks like mum's been to Iceland, look. Ooh, dirty. Right, this is going to need some work. But so far, it seems to have survived. It's dirty. But nothing, a bit of spit and polish won't cure. So here it is. No mains cable. It was sold as spares or repairs, but according to the seller, it does work. Well folks, before I attempt to switch this cleaner on, we can see that the cable has been cut off. And I think they've also cut away some of the uh, strain relief as well, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, for some reason, the seller has tested it. I don't know how they tested it, but the listing was amended to say this has now been tried and works perfectly fine. Very good. Suction, spelt S-U-C-K-T-I-O-N, <laughs> brushes go round. The bag fills out like bagpipes and sucks the muck up off the carpet. Hubby was quite impressed, but even after that, still selling his spares or repair, and it will be taken apart for posting many thanks. Well, when I won this auction, and, well, I won it, and then when it had been dispatched, I ordered myself a new mains cable. I got grey. I thought it was a grey originally, but it might have been black. Now I'm looking at it, but the grey cable will go okay. This is a, a genuine part, but it's... It was sold as a genuine Electrolux, but it's a two-core grey cable, eight metres, with a fitted plug. So I bought that and I've also got um, some belts and bags. So I need to find out how to get into this. Hopefully it's not going to be too difficult because there are two screws here that I need to undo. So I'll just have to get my toolbox. Oh, hang on a minute. I might not need my toolbox just yet because I found this screwdriver that I'd used recently. So this is okay to remove this cover hopefully it'll just be a easy connection i've never seen one of these in real life i've never had one there we go oh well that's simple isn't it folks you can't see what i'm doing hang on we can see here that it's going to be a relatively easy job to connect a new cable all i have to do is connect the blue and brown wire to this uh what do you call those? Connector block. So, that is going to be easy. I'm going to have to look for a new strain relief. It'll be okay for now. They've just cut the cable off and also cut that strain relief. So I'm just removing the, the metal cable clamp. And if I'm careful, yeah. You can see that's, uh, that's been trimmed a bit too much. 
I've given this a brief wipe over so I'm not going to get covered in muck. I will need my tools because I now require a small screwdriver to loosen this old cable. Right, I just need a small screwdriver, that one should do it. And I'll just, so brown, I don't think it matters but it's a good job I'm recording this. This is the brown wire so when I put the new cable in I must remember that the brown wire is nearest to me. There we go. So that's the old bit of cut off cable removed and now this will be okay this grey. I thought it was grey. I tried to find some old um, brochures on this cleaner and it looked like it had a grey cable but it seems it, it had a black cable but you know as long as it's got a cable it doesn't matter does it we need a cable it's not cordless and it's got a fitted plug this may have come with a fitted plug I'm not sure what year this is from somebody may be able to tell me I think actually no I think it is still from the 80s it could be very early 90s so basically all I've got to do is trim this wire here connect the brown wire to this side, the blue neutral wire to that side. Obviously I'm going to have to trim this up. Make sure the outer insulation is under the cord clamp. And before I do that though, I'm going to feed the slightly mangled strain relief up there first. Okay, so I'll do all that off camera and show you what I've done before I screw the cover back on. Okie dokie, well that was quite a simple job. I've got the new cable clamped under the metal cable clamp on the outer insulation and I've got the uh, brown and neutral wire connected correctly, trimmed it to fit. A little tip when you're putting bare wires into a terminal block, when you've got the part of the bare wire you twist it round and then you fold it over once and then that will give you a nice the uh, contact inside there make sure it's pushed fully home you don't want any straggly bits of wire showing you don't want any wire showing just all the plastic so that I think I've done a pretty good job there so now I just need to refit this cover just making sure I put it in correctly not sure how it ah oh, right there's a couple of lugs at the bottom I need to hook hook it over first Ooh, it's quite quite mucky quite mucky there we are that's it there we go is that that's correct right and then do up the screws so hopefully well at least we know the cable is okay on this cleaner <laughs> but we don't know what the motor is going to be like and I won't, I won't really take the seller's word for it. I'm not sure how they managed to test it. If they'd tested it, they might as well have left the cable on that they tested it with, but anyway. Right, that's a, a job well done. Okay, next thing I need to do is attach the upper part of the handle. This works in a very similar principle to an OREC. It's dirty fan, which is unusual for an Electrolux upright. And the dirt, once it's passed through the base of the machine it goes up the hollow handle and into the bag and the bag actually fits onto this part so there are a couple of screws Phillips type screws in there so what I think this does because there are no screw holes on the hollow part because I suppose it couldn't really have screws in there because if this is a suction path it's going to cause dust to leak so basically all these screws do is close up the handle a bit so I'm assuming that anyway so I've never never seen one of these in real life this is based on a relatively old design the first one I remember of this style base uh, was a hard bag version and it was around uh, I think it was in the late 70s it was launched as a lightweight alternative and it was in a sort of a sage green colour and they also did a soft bag version they dropped the hard bag version after a while in fact actually no I think this this is possibly one of the last light 
cleaners, but there was a hard bag equivalent. I seem to remember. I would have loved one of those, but even to get one of these, it's uh, pretty hard to get hold of. And that also doubles, I believe, as the carry handle and the lower cord hook. There is an upper cord hook just here that's uh, intact. Now I notice at the bottom there is a little bit of... Oh, that's not working very well. That was working earlier. Oh, there we go. There's a bit of string, so I'm assuming this bit's broken. So the bag should still stay on. And they've used it bagless by the looks of it. Yeah, they've used it bagless. It's a nice uh, late 80s style bag. So this part, I mean, whether I can get this little bit down here that's broken is another matter, but I'm sure I can do something better than a piece of string. Maybe a little cable tie, a clear cable tie down there would be better. So basically that's just going to waggle about. So to attach the bag at the top, I've got this little locking device, which you move using this dial at the back. So I need to make sure it's uh, in the correct position. And then basically you pop the bag on there. You see at the top there, there's a, a cutout. So that's where it obviously goes. All oh, right, that's it, I think. There we are, that's locked in place at the top at least. Now, to fit a bag, I assume I have to slide that off. And yes, look, the filthy people have used this without a dust bag. Would you Adam and Eve it? Right then, I can't find the bags meant to fit this. I have got some. I must have put them in the garage. Anyway, I've, I've given this a quick vacuum out very very quick vacuum so it's not going to put dust everywhere when i switch on providing of course it works um i'll see if i can rig some sort of bag just for an initial switch on in there so it doesn't get too dirty again but i'm gonna possibly hand wash this bag if i'm very careful it will improve the looks of it no end okay soon be ready for the switch on i've managed to mangle a bag to go inside there just to keep it clean for now i'll just show you around the machine quickly um, as you can see at the bottom here we've got a foot operated on off switch and that needs looking at because there's something a bit dodgy but that's your foot operated which isn't working very well Handle, ah, oh, there we are, handle release. So it does actually lock in the operating position. And then clearly you need to press it again to get it to, well, it, it won't at the moment. That's something I need to look at, but it will go flat to the floor. It does lock in the upright position anyway, so at least the cleaner head doesn't flop down. So that bit's not broken. Just here we've got a height control. You can operate that with your foot. I think in this position it's for higher pile carpets and in the front position it's for lower pile but for this plush pile I think I'll start it in the slightly higher position. Well this is the first time I've ever seen the underside of one of these cleaners and possibly the first time for some of you. Now what you'll see, and I did know this before because I looked it up somewhere. It does use the same brush roll as the 500 series. This one is an all brush affair, not brush and beta bars, but they do actually look in pretty good condition. While I've got the cleaner in this position, I might as well put a new belt on. Now I've got what I think are the belts because they came, I think these are the ones, they didn't come in the original packaging. They're not original belts. Um, it didn't even say what they were. It's a bit of a shame really when you're buying a lot of parts. If you don't label them when you get them, sometimes you wonder, oh, is that for this? I do tend to, to buy genuine parts where I can, but 
I think the genuine belts for this was they're quite expensive so I thought oh well I'll just try try some imitation or oh, there's washers actually on these I don't want to lose the washers so I think there's only two to undo oh what's that a little bit of the a bit of the um, what do you call that it's not trim yeah Ooh. Roger, I don't know why I'm so squeamish. I should be used to it. I really should be used to it. I much prefer nice brand new vacuums, although it is quite satisfying to clean up an old machine. So the seal, that's what I was going to call that. The seal has come away a bit, so that needs gluing or possibly replacing if I can. Oh, is this going to be a tricky one? How on earth do I get the belt? All right, let me just pull out the uh, brush roll. Oh. Right, <laughs> that shouldn't stick in there, should it? It should lift out, but... Right, I'll leave that in for now. That's obviously going to need a little bit of looking at. Um, I have absolutely no idea how I am supposed to get the belt. I wonder if the hood comes off, but then that would, no, that would involve undoing many, many screws. Crikey. Um, well, I've got one of the new belts. It's the right um, width anyway. I'm just trying to figure out where the spindle is. I can see it, but I have no idea how I'm supposed to... Ah, oh, right, no, okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I think these are the belts I bought. It obviously has stretched, this one. I'm not sure if it was genuine, but we'll put a new one on. This one feels quite a bit thicker, so hopefully it'll go over the spindle. Crack it. This is difficult compared to the 500 series. This uh, it's very tricky. I wonder how many people got rid of the cleaners when the belt failed because they couldn't work out how to put a new belt in. Although back in back when this was in the shops, most people used to repair vacuums. They weren't disposable like the vacuums of today, unfortunately. But perhaps we're moving towards a society where we fix things more. Who knows? There we go. I have done it. Right, there we go. It wasn't as hard as it looked. Yeah, the old make, do and mend that people had to had to do in the war. We don't know we're born, really. You know, back back in the day, things were scarce and rationed, certainly in the UK, after the war. And um, one had to repair things and make them last, although things on the whole were built to last a, bit, a lot longer than they are today it's not very good for the environment is it i'll never be without a vacuum anyway at least i may go short of food but as far as vacuum cleaners go i'll, I'll have enough to last a lifetime several lifetimes there we go that wasn't as bad as i i thought hang on why is that sticking out there oh that should be in there Ah, right. Well, that's running okay, but I don't know if the motor sounds rough to me. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I can just... Oh, You won't be able to see it. Although, if you look carefully, I need a torch, really. The fan, if I move the... Can you, you can just see... Can you just about see that? Just there, look just about possibly see the fan blades so I'll just have a quick look at them they seem intact very wide air path I must say very wide indeed so I think blockages wouldn't really occur on this because that is wide so we've now got to get the old base plate back so that's how you change your belt on one of these folks all oh, right that be careful with that uh, seal try and keep it in position till I can 
replace or glue it there we are I think that's in place make sure we've got both washers on the screws do them up and we're ready now to switch on I'm just thinking where's the rating plate on this I can't see one hmm no idea where it is I'll have a little look for it I think this would have been about 400 watts this motor but without a, a rating plate I'm not sure right okay we're ready for the switch on I have a feeling this could be a bit shot I don't know that's my instincts we'll soon find out well, I found the rating plate. It was hiding here under the bag. So this is a Lux product made in Britain, model Z1030, product number 906315, serial number 8291001, 240 volts, 50 hertz. And this is actually only a 270 watt motor. Okay, dokie, well, here's the moment of truth. Let's hope that this Electrolux light special works. Well, yes, it does work. And it's uh, quite quiet. So I think it's a little bit squeaky. Probably could do with a bit of a, an oiling, the bearings. It's probably not a motor you can easily service. They tend to be quite sealed with the Electrolux motors, but there'll be something I can do to make that sound a bit smoother. But just using it as it warms up, it might help it. So I'll give it a push over the carpet. At least it works but uh, I'm sure most of you realize that it doesn't sound quite as it should it sounds a little bit rough but I don't think it's terminal I think uh, a little bit of TLC a bit of soaking in oil wherever I can pour oil into the motor um, clean the fan I could be able to access the fan definitely because it's uh, obviously it's a dirty fan exposed fan so I should be able to clean all that up um, and have a look inside and get it cleaned and get the bag washed get it polished it's going to look a lot better and hopefully sound a lot smoother the next time you see this but i'm really pleased to get one of these it's pretty basic pretty ordinary vacuum but not very common these don't turn up on ebay any of these soft bag electroluxes you hardly ever see them on ebay so when I saw this, despite the condition, despite it didn't have a mains lead, I thought I'd go for it because whatever condition one of these is in, you go for it and see if you can fix it up because they're very, very hard to get hold of, as I said. But yes, when that's working, when it's, when it's going to sounding a lot smoother, it's going to be a very nice little vacuum. Definitely. And you can, of course I can't get them, but you can buy a toolkit that fits on the bottom of this. Uh, with a pan converter whether i'll be able to get one well is anybody's guess but you never know if i keep looking so that's it for today's video on this electrolux light special hope you've enjoyed it hope you've enjoyed seeing this pretty rare vacuum cleaner 
one of the rarest electrolaxes I think I have in my collection at the moment. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.